Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 tutorial, guys. This one, we're using the new, just launched 2020, and you're going to notice that I didn't say CC 2020, because uh, Adobe's taken out uh, the CC, or Creative Cloud component, so it's just 2020, like my eyesight. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, I lied about that part. All right, let's get right into this, guys. What I'm going to be showing you here is very, very simple. And basically it is the renderer, and this is Mac specific. Max now, when you start Premiere Pro 2020, it defaults to the metal renderer. That is an Apple proprietary uh, piece of hardware or software, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, it's their own thing. They've got their own little thing going on, and it's different than from in the past where you would often be uh, using either OpenCL or CUDA cores if you had an NVIDIA uh, graphic card. Now, if you want to know how to change it and make those changes, very, very simple. Let's just go right through this. New, you're going to go to File, New, Project. You're going to open that up, and you're going to see, bang, here it is, right at the start. You're going to see here, when I go down to General, I go down to Renderer, it's now defaulting to Metal. The other ones are deprecated. So you'll get the um, OpenCL will be deprecated, and if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, you'll probably see CUDA, and that will also, CUDA core, pardon me, and that will also show as deprecated. So you can always go into the project settings and change the renderer. Just keep in mind that going forward into the future, the deprecated ones probably won't be well supported, and in fact, they may even just be dropped at some point. So just something to keep in mind. Again, this is only for Mac users. If you're on a on a Windows laptop, this will be of no value to you. But uh, there you go, guys. So there's how you change the renderer if you want to. It's now defaulting to metal. This is just one of many changes in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. I got a lot more videos coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.